Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at triangle constructions. So this is when you use a ruler, a pencil, a protractor and a compass to draw accurate uh, drawings of triangles. So straight away let's see an example. It says we're going to draw a triangle with sides of length 4 centimeters, 5.5 centimeters, and 6 centimeters. This is a side, side, side question where you are asked to draw a triangle where you're given all three sides, side, side, sides, or SSS for short. So the first thing we do is we draw the longest side. The longest side is six centimetres and we draw a six centimetre line like that. Then we take a compass and we set our compass to be four centimetres apart. From the tip of the needle to the tip of the pencil is four centimetres and you measure that precisely, accurately and carefully with your ruler. So we take our uh, compass and we draw a nice arc like that around the tip of the uh, line. Perfectly over the tip when you place the needle of the compass. Then we do the other uh, line and we set it to be 5.5 centimetres with our ruler. And we place the needle of the compass on the tip of the line and we draw a nice arc like that. These two arcs will cross over and they'll cross over at the perfect point where the lines of the triangle must meet. So now we take our ruler and pencil and we connect the tip of this line with this cross here and the other tip of the line with this point. Again, this is super accurate, so be careful and make sure to do this uh, precisely and accurately when you're drawing. Uh, when you've uh, done that, you can uh, measure the sides of the angle of the triangle just to make sure you've done it correctly. Now we're going to do another one, and this one is side angle side, where you're given two sides and an angle. It says draw a triangle with a 7cm side, a 5cm side, and a 32 degree angle in between them. So we draw a 7cm side like this. Then we take our protractor, and we're going to do a 32 uh, degree angle. So we do a dash at 32 degrees, counting from 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, and then 1, 2 degrees, 32. And we do a little dash with our pencil at that 32 mark. Remember when you use the protractor to put the bullseye of the protractor directly over the top of um, the end of the line. Now we take our ruler and we draw a line from the tip of uh, this uh, the first line through the dash and we make it five centimeters as the other side is five centimeters So you stop at five centimeters here Now you just connect the other tip of the line with the tip of this line and you have done And that is how you draw an SAS triangle a side angle side triangle Finally we can also do a angle side angle triangle where you're given uh, two angles and a side. Example 3 says, make an accurate drawing of a triangle with angles 40 degrees and 55 degrees with a side length of 8 centimeters in between them. So let's start again by drawing the side, which is 8 centimeters long. We would then take the protractor and we go to do a 40 degree angle and we place the bullseye of the protractor over the tip of the line and then draw a little dash at 40 degrees. Then we take our ruler and we do a line from the tip of the line all the way through the dash and make it really long. It doesn't matter how long it is because uh, we're going to figure that part out later. So we make it really long. Now we're going to draw a 55 degree angle from the other side of the line. We put the protractor's bullseye over the end of this line and then we count 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 degrees and we put a dash here. Then we take our ruler and we draw a line from the dash to the tip of the line and make it really long. You'll then have these two lines crossing over at this point and that point completes our triangle. 
Don't worry about the fact that some of your lines are slightly too long. That's okay. The examiner understands when they're marking your work. Okay. What I'd suggest is to try and do these three examples, example one, two, and three yourself, with a protractor, a pencil, ruler, and a compass, and then measure your triangle to make sure your angles are the right size, your lengths are the right size. That will be really good practice for you to practice for your exams. Okay, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned everything you needed to do about triangle constructions. Remember, we have far more videos covering everything in secondary maths. So remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching today and good luck in your exams.